Suppose a linear transformation t of vector x equals matrix A times vector x is applied to a unit circle. The matrix A has an eigenvalue of lambda equals three with eigenvector two, two, and eigenvalue lambda equals one with eigenvector negative three, three. Which of the following is the image of the unit circle under this transformation? So to begin, remember, any scalar multiple of the vector two, two except the zero vector would be an eigenvector corresponding to lambda equals three and any scalar multiple of the vector negative three, three, except the zero vector, would be an eigenvector corresponding to lambda equals one. And because we have the eigenvalues and the corresponding eigenvectors, we know matrix A times vector X is equal to lambda times vector X, where vector X is an eigenvector. More specifically, if we look at the transformation of the vector two, two, because the vector two, two is an eigenvector corresponding to the eigenvalue of three, under this transformation, the transformation of the vector two, two is equal to three times the vector two, two, which is equal to the vector six, six. The vector two, two is scaled by a factor of three under this transformation. And the transformation of the eigenvector negative three, three is equal to the eigenvalue of one times the eigenvector of negative three, three, which returns the same vector. So again, looking at the coordinate plane, all the scalar multiples of the vector two, two fall on the line of y equals x and because lambda is equal to three, everything along this line would be scaled by a factor of three under this transformation, and therefore the unit circle would be stretched by a factor of three along the line y equals x under this transformation. However, because the vector negative three, three, this green vector, has an eigenvalue of one, it does not change under this transformation, and therefore the unit circle is not stretched along the line y equals negative x, which is where we find all these scalar multiples of the vector negative three, three. So under the transformation, we're looking for the unit circle that has been stretched by a factor of three along the line y equals x and not stretched along the line y equals negative x. So going back to the graphs, notice the first graph has been stretched along both the line y equals x and the line y equals negative x, but the second graph has only been stretched along the line y equals x and not stretched along the line y equals negative x, which is the correct graph of the unit circle after the given transformation. I hope you found this helpful.